Hey, this is um episode three, the Mod Light Podcast. I got my dog 94 Faso. And um This is how we're about to start the fucking podcast. Um Hold on. YNS, right? YNS Fatso? Oh look he knows son. <laughs> That was a that that's that's that was your first name. What why in that? That was my mean? first shit. That shit stand for young niggas stacking. Oh shit. That was my first little game, you so you wanna call it type shit. We were just Jits, man. We just came up with son, son to start a name up. See my, my older brother, he had a little game tattered on him. It was called MJS. As money just stacking, so I was legit looking up to broke. Yeah, like, young niggas stacking. Some shit, you feel me? Got that shit tatted or whatever. I feel you. That's some shit real like shit. That. So you, so you got brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got uh, one brother, two sisters. They all older than me though. How much older though? Like way one, older? Or? I got nah. I got one sister that's like two and a half years older than me. One brother, my other brother, my other sister, they're like 10 years older than me. So, like, they from a whole generation different than me type shit. So, how they feel about you doing music? They like that shit, but they be supporting me, ain't they? They do? Yeah. They be, like, we be in a little group chat and shit. Every time I drop, they be like, oh, I like your new song. That's a play, dog. Yeah. Okay, I like that shit. I'm saying, like, your sister's married and shit? Your, your, um, your brother married? So, my older sister got married. She married. But my brother ain't married. Nah, he, he living with my old girl. And my my sister that's two and a half years older than me, she's just working right now. Okay. So you say they support she you? She's crazy. Like, I got a whole family. Don't nobody know about them. You feel me? That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. I ain't right. even know. I thought you was like the only child. Facts. Facts. That's nobody crazy. Shit. It's cool so, like that though. Okay. So I ain't going to say where you... F- yeah, where you from? Where you grew up at? All right. So look, my old boy... Grew up in Peru and then moved to Venezuela. My parents, they ain't from here. Like, you feel me? They moved to the United States. So my old boy from Peru moved to Venezuela type shit and then moved to the United States. And my old girl, I think she was born in Venezuela. Yeah, she was born in Venezuela type shit. She got German descent though, you feel me? But she grew up in Venezuela like her whole life. So she Venezuelan, you feel me? Yeah. And then they both moved down here type shit and then they got married in the United States. But my whole family, they not from here type shit. like. But, okay, so your parents met each other when they got here? Yeah, but, yeah, exactly, yeah. That's the play. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I thought you was a white boy, though. Yeah, everybody think that, baby, but it's cool, though. It's, it's like, everybody think that it's like a conversation starter type shit. Yeah, thing. yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I thought you was white. Like, nah, I'm Hispanic. Yeah, but, dog, you yeah. speak Spanish, though? Yeah. No. Swear to God. I don't believe that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Damn. I mean, the strip club talking to the Spanish bitches. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I know them hoes be like, oh, you're, you're, it's my y'all. Yeah. I thought you were, uh, Gringo. <laughs> I'd be like Venezuela and they eyes get big and shit. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> shit. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, so damn, I did not know that, bro. That's good, Faso. So you you like your image, everything raw as fuck. Like you got you got a, a, a raw ass image. And then it's like you the first well, you you the first nigga from Miami that look the way you look. Well, you not the first Chico that look like right, that. Right. It's a lot of Chicos that look like you in Miami that got that same swag. Mm-hmm. But like bitches really think that you white and and you not. Mm-hmm. So what influenced your image? Like you got the dreads, you got the goals, you got like you you look like a nigga, bro. You do. <laughs> <laughs> shit, just shit. Where I grew up, bro. You feel me, like. Yeah, man, just like influence, just around, you feel me? Like, so, so, uh, black friends, black yeah, culture, black friends, black culture type shit. Yeah, like the hood type shit. I don't know. So, how you, how you, how do you feel about like black culture and the impact that it has on you, like just being an artist? Like, what you mean, type shit? Like, like. Obviously, it, it influenced the way you look, the way you dress, everything like that. Like, do, do does it influence your music? Like, just seeing other people's point of view, like black people's point of view, like the, the way they vibe, everything like that. Like, it just all feel normal to me, bro. Like, it don't feel like 
I don't know. Like, yeah. I, I don't be thinking like that way type yeah. shit. Like, I just, just feel normal, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, because you just so used to being yeah, around like, it. Like, just yeah. feel me? Like, before I did music, I was just doing this shit for fun. So, like, I don't know, like, how to answer that question. I like, feel you. I feel you. I understand. Well, you got it. Shit. You fucking got it. And them yeah, girls man. is in love with fat so man. <laughs> The black girls, who you like black girls? Yeah. Hell yeah. You ever fuck the black girl? Yeah. I just want to know, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit. I want to know. Okay, so my question is this. Mm. What's, what's the difference from... <laughs> I want to know, bro. I want to fucking know, because I fucked a lot of Spanish hoes and white hoes, man. What's the what what's your difference from black girls, Spanish girls, and white girls? Um I ain't not not my state sexually. What you think? Sexually? White girls, I feel like they just mm, bro. Like I, I, I wanna say like one's crazy, one not, but they all be crazy like on some <laughs> shit. Like you feel me? I don't know, bro. They just the only thing different is the culture, bro, for real. Like every girl I feel like share the same traits type shit. Like yeah. Like, there'd be some crazy girls, some good girls, I guess. Mm. You think you... Because I done met crazy black girls, crazy Hispanic girls. I feel like most Hispanic girls be crazy. Or just because in Miami, there'd be a lot of Cubans, and Cubans just be crazy. Like, yeah. Cuban girls would be Cuban girls wild. crazy. Like, they'd be wild. That's crazy. I don't know. So what you... Because what, Miami really like a melting pot, bro. So it is. You feel me? So it'd be like everybody kind of like... Not the same, but type shit the same, man. Like, yeah. Like, Cause you, you 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 will catch a you will catch a white girl fucking a Haitian nigga who don't speak no English. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. It be going down. It's a lot of that. I ain't gonna lie. Hey man, it is what it is. You still ain't answering and tell me who you like more. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Spanish. I like Spanish. You like Spanish most. girls? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They be getting to me, man. That's that's real though. That's real. You gotta you gotta serve a certain like um how you say. Not culture, uh, like island, nationality, nationality. nationality. like Colombian, Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican. Like it's so many of them. I feel like Cuban, bro. Cuban, Cuban girls. The Cubans got me, man. Yeah. So bad, like. Oh, no. so bad. I'm thinking right now, cause Cuban girls, Cuban girls do be bad, bro. Talk they good for they good for niggas like you though, bro. But. I don't know. They good to fuck, but they just, they just, I just don't get along with them. Bro. You don't get along with them? No. Mm -hmm. And what you is, Venezuelan? Mm hmm Why you ain't fuck no Venezuelan bitches? I, I have. I have. It's just like, Venezuelan, like, I don't know. I feel like they be more, not rare, but like they be in like their own part of the city type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they don't like, vibe with the rest yeah, of them. Yeah, like I realize like Doral is like where all the Venezuelans be at and like, they just all concentrated over there type That's shit. crazy. Like, like, Venezuelans fuck with Venezuelans. Yeah, they don't, they, you know, like, they races against other Spanish people. Type shit, no cap. That's crazy, shit, man. man. Yeah, like, Cubans will say it, like, oh, we, like, Cuban parents will say, like, oh, we don't fuck with Venezuelans type shit. That shit always be a thing when I fuck with Cuban girls. They be like, oh, like, yeah, we don't, we don't fuck with Venezuelans type shit. That'd be a funny thing, like, I don't know. That should be weird. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Yo, top. I'm gonna ask you, who influenced you as far as music? Like, what made you say I want to make music like this? And what made you say that I don't want to make music like this? Like, who 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 are the artists that that you that you feel like you listen to? Personally, that made that that you that inspired you to make the music that you make. I ain't gonna lie, Kodak was one of my I feel like biggest influences, bro. With like the whole Florida shit, like he he like turned the swag up, the music, like like the way he sings. And he like, was a shit. young nigga. And he was young too when I was in, like when I first heard of him, I was probably like a freshman in high school, bro. And like I was just like doing everything I do outside to his music type shit. You feel me? So Kodak one of my biggest influences. And then like the little artists that came behind him, like Glock Nine or like Soldier Kid type shit, who kind of had the same sound but different though. Like they own shit. They was also like some influences type shit. It's other artists that also influenced me. Not like my style of music, but that I looked up to. Like Wiz Khalifa, I used to listen to him in high school. Um, Eminem, I listened to him since legit, bro. Like Elementary and shit like that. 
So your your style of music, like you you got like a harmony with it. Yeah, like do you do you feel like you can like fuck the harmony? Like bitch, I'm finna get to this pen and pad and just rap. Like do you think you could really get there? Like rap, like no, yeah, like rap, no, I no. Got, I got music that I don't do melodic, and I like doing it when I'm in certain moods. But I, I know like it ain't my best future though. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I do like doing it though, but I know that like that's not my best future. Like, cause I know music. You feel me? I fuck with it, but at the same time, I know like my melodic shit is what just gets shit going type shit. I don't know. Your shit hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. My favorite song till I die. Spaceship, Spaceship man. Thugging. Spaceship thugging, bro. That's my favorite shit, bro. Yeah. I really, bro. My kids be in the car. Them motherfuckers know that bitch. But I play that shit over and over. That's one of my favorite songs. Like right now, I don't care what artist out. I listen to that shit faithfully. I fuck with that song. So if y'all ain't listen to it, y'all need the motherfucking listen to it. Hell uh, yeah, I still remember writing that shit, bro, and everything like. All my music that I just remember writing that shit, just some so, normal shit. So you write music? So when I first started, like all the songs everybody know from when I first started, like 94 Blocks in the Water, all them little, like yeah. the first albums, first songs that did numbers. I wrote all them shits. I ain't gonna okay, I wrote all them shits. But now, now like four years later, I've been just uh, freestyling. I ain't gonna okay, cap. Cause this guy got better at it. You feel? Yeah, and you know, you you know. Yeah, like so, it's, it's some songs I remember that I wrote that I could write down. I could have freestyled this shit. Yeah, most mean? definitely. Right. So, ninety four blocks underwater. That's your first mixtape. First mixtape album, whatever you want to call what, it. What was the inspiration behind the name? Everything being put together, like how was that? What was that process? So that inspiration came from Vino, cause 94 blocks on the water, like Color Bay, it's not no 94 blocks. You feel me? Like Piran got a 16 blocks on fire. Vino, the one who inspired me to write that, sh uh, make that name. You feel me? But that was that's right when Color Bay kind of like linked up with Piran or we linked up with Vino type shit, and he was like, damn, like. I fuck with his music, like, I fuck with your voice type shit, like, you gotta name that shit 94 Blocks in the Water on some shit, and I was like, bet, you feel me, I'm like, cause at the time, I ain't do no numbers, I was a nobody at that time, so I was like, fuck it, you feel me, like, whatever, like, when I dropped that shit, it was really on some fun shit, like, I wasn't thinking it was, yeah, you know, you yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was just on some fun shit, cause niggas don't know I've been doing, like, you see how you say whining as fat, so, like, that was me, like, I've been just dropping music, yeah. like, it wasn't like my first song did numbers, you feel me, like, I've been doing music, so, when he told me to do that, I was like, yeah, let's do it. You feel me? Like, bet that up. You feel me? I'm going to do it. <laughs> feel and me? that shit did good Yeah, and fuck. that shit did good. And I was like, damn. At the time, I was going to college, bro. I had just graduated high school. I graduated. You feel me? And my old girl was like, you should go to college. So I'm like, fuck it. Like, I ain't doing shit. So I went to college for like a month, bro. And that's when I dropped that shit at the same time. That shit started doing numbers. So I like... Man, fuck college. I hate this shit. Shit feel like high school all over again. So yeah. I just ran with it, bro. That's, since then, since that time, that's bro. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I remember when I first met you. Yeah. I told you you had the mushroom cut. <laughs> My dog had the mushroom yeah, cut. Man. I'm sitting on the porch. I'm like, Vino, Vino popping. He doing his shit. Da -da -da. Y'all boys come around, you feel what I'm saying? I'm doing my shit, I got my little features going on, whatever, whatever, like that. And y'all boys just sitting back watching like, you feel me? And I, I, at that time, I wasn't listening to your music, but I knew that you did music. I was more focused on Vino. And Vino stressing me like, bro, this nigga hard, bro, so. Yeah, bro, we was really just having fun type shit, like. We was doing the music, but we was just outside, like, we was going to parties, like, you feel me, doing yeah, shit. Yeah, having fun. Saying, having fun. Like, having fun. It was a lot of niggas that y'all started with that, 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 that's not here right now, where right. y'all just cut off or whatever like that. What was, what's, what's that process like, like? That process, bro, um, when that process, that shit, it's like, that shit always gonna be new to you. Like you'll never know how to go with it until that shit happens. Type yeah. So you just gotta like, like stand on what you like feel type shit. Like I knew who was wrong. I knew who was right. So you feel me? I, whoever was wrong, I ain't fuck with that person and just distance myself type shit. And I just ain't feed into that shit. Like I understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I know it was. I, I, it's been a couple situations. Mm. Um. I know a situation where 
your name was mentioned like in a murder or some shit like that, but everything came out that you was good. Like, what was that? What was that process? That shit was wild, man. So that shit was. It shit had something to do with my ex. I was. I so. All right. So me and my ex broke up. This was like two years after, man. We was just started back for like fucking with each other on some just like we fucking type shit. You feel me? Yeah. And then like I had posted a picture of her crib. And so after I stopped fucking with her, she was with a new nigga. You feel me? And he was the one who seen that picture type shit. So when I go back, like I'm I'm finna go back to her crib on some shit, but I'm on my way to Fort Lauderdale, like you feel me? She called me like, oh, he wanna pull up type shit. And I'm like, man, like, I ain't finna pull up. Like, I ain't finna start no shit by no pussy type shit. Like, especially you. you well, he wanted, to, he wanted pressure with you cause yeah. you was fucking her? Mm-hmm. So he ended up pulling up, you feel me? And I wasn't there, you feel me? I told him, man, I'm not finna pull up. I said, this, this shit finna go one or two ways. Like, he had, he either finna shoot the shit up or I'm finna shoot his ass, you feel <laughs> yeah. me? And it's cr so crazy cause that's how it went. Like, you feel me? He ended up pulling up to that shit. And there was a whole other nigga over there like that. I ain't Wait, about what? It. Oh, I lost my mind. It was a whole other nigga over there, bro. That I so she know. was fucking with another nigga too. Right before I was finna come over, bro. Damn. You feel me? So he pull up and shoot up this nigga? So he, nah, he pull up and the nigga with her shoot him. And I'm on the phone while the whole thing going down, bro. You lying. Everything I love, bro. I, I swear to God, my hand on the Bible. I'm on the phone while all that shit go down, bro. She called me. Bro, she's screaming at the top of her lungs, like, oh my god, like she not even talking to me. She's and what is, what is that? What what neighborhood? What area this is? It's in damn, I think it's Cutler Bay. It's like by the route. It's, I think it's called oh, by okay. the Spring. Okay, okay. I what the name okay, is, okay. But yeah, bro, that shit was like So he ended up killing the nigga who pulled up. The nigga yeah, yeah, yeah. He ended up killing the nigga who pulled That's up. That's crazy. I was trying to get on better. Yeah. That's crazy. And it only took a couple hours for like posts to go up, like with my face. And her face. Like y'all like y'all did that. Yeah, like I did that type shit. Well, hey, God bless the dead, but shout out to the nigga who made sure that he ain't do nothing to fat. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't finna come, bro. I wasn't finna slide, bro, because I ain't trying hey. to buy no girl, bro. Uh, that's what I'm saying. God bless you still here, bro. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't meant for you, so it happened the way it happened. Yeah, man. That's, that's crazy. So then it, it's, it was another situation. I ain't never get to chop it with Vinny about this shit. But um, y'all got a homeboy named Paperboy that got slid. Right. Right. What I'll the fuck? Like, right. what was the what was the situation of him getting slid? So basically, bro, it's, it's that's that's a hard topic, bro. Because you know this is unsolved. I, yeah, I understand. No, no, no. I'm not saying get into it, but. What happened to him when he like what what's what's the story of him getting slid like he was uh, he was in the garage or some shit he was outside yeah so he was chilling with more of the story he was chilling with someone he wasn't supposed to be chilling with okay you know what I'm saying like that person that he was chilling with we already knew he wasn't supposed to be chilling with him you yeah me? but he. I love that dude, you feel me? So we couldn't really tell him nothing. It was on just like, it's really up to yeah, you. That's my, yeah, that's I'm my dog. You that you shouldn't be doing that, but at the end of the day, you a grown man. Yeah, you know? and you just got caught in the wrong place at right. the wrong time. So like, that's understandable. So, what's the, like, that that was that was y'all dog, the, the, like. My brother, man. Yeah, most definitely. Like, you had some good times with him? Boy, yeah. I, had, <laughs> I can't even get to talk about that. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me a story about this nigga that y'all like a crazy story that you and this nigga had together. It's so many, dog. Like I ain't gonna cat like he was just about. Oh yeah, like <laughs> man, <laughs> bro. We was at a casino, man. Just I think it was it was either my birthday, his birthday. I don't even remember, bro. It was somebody's birthday, bro. We in the casino, bro. This nigga C base and Paperboy like on live, bro. You feel me? They, I guess so they smoking on the balcony of the casino or some shit and then they just like getting like somebody started spitting on them bro from the roof like from the balcony above them niggas started spitting and shit and I'm just watching on live you feel me I'm just in my room chilling I got a blick and everything they're like bro what the fuck you feel me they start getting rowdy and shit the, the niggas from the 
uh, balcony upstairs, end up coming down and getting an altercation with them boys. So I'm like, oh, nah, I leave a blick in the room right now. They the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, they on live the whole time. So I, I come to the um the hallway and they all getting an altercation. So I get into it. I'm like, man, like, feel me? What the fuck going on type shit? Like, what y'all boys, you feel me? Bro, the, the dude end up getting in my face, bro. You feel me? I end up, like, he... Like, we just arguing, he's screaming in my face, like, ain't nothing going, like, they just screaming, screaming, talking back. Dude get in my face and he go like this, like, he touched me like this, but I just right hand the fuck out his ass, slap his ass, <laughs> loud as fuck, like, slap his ass. And then we just all start fading type shit, and paperboy just knocking them niggas, bro. Like, it was big dudes, bro. Yeah. Like, yo size, bro, I swear to God. Like, <laughs> like wrestler dudes. Yeah. yeah. Big ass white dudes. Oh, they was white boys? Yeah. yeah. They was white yeah. boys, you feel me? Yeah, they was drunk. They was drunk. I think, they was, I think they was off coke and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, yeah. was just tripping. Yeah. You feel me? Like, Fuck out of them, boy. Yeah, we beat them boys. Like, you feel me? Like, them boys end up coming back trying to pick up a chain or like a little like you feel me like Look, them yeah. boys end up running from us type shit you feel me we got kicked out the casino all type of shit we went on live all type of shit. <laughs> it was crazy shit crazy but that was one of the moments where i'm like damn man paper boy is just you feel me like he was yeah. just bit whatever type yeah shit, you feel me? most definitely that's the play damn that shit was fun about that man that shit, that shit, that shit do be fun, boy. Yeah, bro. Nigga be turning up having them crazy nights. Yeah, man. You feel me? I done went through a lot of situations. You know what's crazy? I think mm -hmm. I met Paperboy one time. I think he came to Grandma House one time, bro. Yeah, and he yeah, was out there, yeah. Sure. He came sure. to Grandma House and he was out there one time. Hey, I met a lot of y'all little homeboys, man. I don't know what was wrong with me, though. He just loves Spanish people. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that nigga had all the Chico's over there like, what the fuck going on? But that shit was love, though. It's because it, it could cut the bay full of Hispanic Yeah, girls, Spanish, Hispanic, yeah, yeah. You know, Vino yeah. linked with us, he got into it all. Cause yeah. He, he was really the one popping at the time. So yeah. You feel me? Like, so once y'all linked up with him, y'all yeah. boys own. All the fans had yeah. access to him, bro. You feel <laughs> yeah. me? Like, they all had access, so it was like, yeah, right. it turned up. Shit. That's the play. That was the play, boy. It was the play, man. Y'all boys turned up. I like that shit. I was just watching. You know, they call me an old nigga. Nah, I ain't that old, but shit, I feel old too, man. Bro, you is not. How old you is, bro? Twenty three. I'm about to be twenty. Man, get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Man, y'all niggas is chill. Bro, I ain't think I was gonna stay alive till I was twenty four. You know what's crazy? I came home from prison when I was twenty four. And I still was like, bro, I'm surprised I'm here, bitch, because I'm with the hey, shit. When you got friends who ain't making to that, you just like, yeah, nah, bro, I'm really living. It wasn't just that. I just know if I ain't go to prison, I would have been dead. That's a fact. Hey. I'm really with. The, I was. I was with the shit, like, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about crash dummy, like, on some dumb shit, and don't need a group of niggas or nothing, no fact. friends or nothing, bitch. I'm just finna go kill everybody. Mm -hmm. But luckily, I got the. You feel what I'm saying? Have kids and understand where I'm at right now. Understand who I am and my position and my power and the shit that I could change with other niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Because God, God be showing you that, man. Most definitely. Because it was like I was able to be something to other people that they never had to themselves. Just like with Fact. Vino. I, I know. You feel you what I'm mean, saying? Yeah. Like, that's my little dog. But hey, we gone, bro. We, we, we out. You understand what I'm saying? So, shit like that. But that's dope that you still doing shit. So, um, I understand that you signed. You What, you got a distribution deal? So, yeah, I got a distribution deal right now. Um... As in sign, I'm not really signed though, you feel yeah. me? I'm signed on some handshake shit, like I fuck with you, you family type shit. That's how I'm signing Sada Baby, you feel me? So his manager really, my manager type shit, he be hitting me up all the time, oh, let's do this. I got this plan for you, we're gonna do that, interview, this, that, that, you feel me? So that Sada Baby manager, Skiller Baby manager, he my manager too. But I'm not signed on no paperwork. Like, if like basically, you want to say, like, I'm going to put you under my wing and I'm going to try to get you to the fact where, like, if another label want to sign you, they can go ahead. You feel me? Like, that's why I'm trying to put you in a position for that type shit. Yeah, you most definitely. So. so you moving around with Sada Baby and Skiller? Um, yeah, I just came off not too long ago. I came off tour with Sada Baby. You feel me? We went all around the country, bro. So how the fuck you end up brushing shoulders with these niggas? Bro, the internet, bro. Say cheese and shit, bro. Like, I, I remember, like, I don't know what year it was, man. It must have been like 2020 or something, but 
I was just putting all my shit on Safe Cheese, you feel me? And I was getting a lot of recognition and shit. A lot of artists hit me up. Uh, Glock 9, Lil Bibby, artists I can't even remember in my DMs. Like, oh, who you, who you signed to, man? Your shit hard, this and that. But the uh, thing was, a lot of them artists or managers or whatever you want to call them, they ain't really like follow up type shit. Like, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, they just talking. The only person who followed up was Sada Baby ended up flying me out to Detroit, you feel me? Doing, a, we made, before he flew me out to Detroit though, we was talking for a long time, you feel me? We made music and shit. But he don't, he ended up flying me out of Detroit doing a music video with me, you feel me? Once he knew me for like a year, he's like, I want to sign you, we gonna handshake, you feel me? I'm gonna, feel me, take care of you type shit. But yeah, man, through the internet, bro, for real, like. That's why it's important for artists, bro, to be marketing themselves, bro. Yeah. So, so how that, how, how was that relationship going with you and Sada? It's good. It's good. Yeah, we talk all the time. That's, 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 what's Sada baby from? Detroit. 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 I know he's from Detroit. So, my question to you is this. Cause a lot of niggas don't agree with me, but I, bro, I'm gonna talk my shit. I don't care what a nigga got to say about me. You understand what I'm right. saying? I don't understand how niggas from Miami let these artists slip through their fingers. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you got Ross, you got Pitbull, you got Flo Rida, you got uh, Slip and Slide, uh, you got Plies, you got uh, T-Pain. Yeah, get yeah, Ross. That's what I'm saying. You got so many niggas that. But the thing with everybody just names that they are old. You feel me? They old, but 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 still, it's right. records labels that's older than them, and they still come and get young talent. Yeah, you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You right. Man. So it's like, why y'all niggas letting these niggas slip? Through the cracks or not just letting these niggas go to other labels from different states and different cities you are also allowing yourself to sign artists from different states and different cities you're not even recognizing the talent that's down here in miami so what you think that come from like direct the recognition like bro if a nigga look at you right now and you could go on the beach right now. A nigga from Miami don't know that you from Miami. Right. Yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. Even though you Spanish, mm. they gonna say, bro, that nigga from Miami. Fact. That nigga got the cue ball, got the grip, got the wall, whatever. Like, nigga, what's up? You feel me? Got the Dukes. But then niggas from Miami, they just don't recognize the, this is our culture. And y'all not even supporting the culture. Ross, you going to get meat meals from Philly. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's so many. Like, my whole thing is the city girls. Y'all let these niggas from Atlanta sign these guys. I mean, sign these young ladies. Like, mm. and, and, and y'all don't, y'all not doing nothing. You you understand? It's so many artists that, bro. Mm. Mike Smith, Major Nine, Kid Omar, Briscoe. CP3, like it's so many niggas from the, me myself. I had a song with Fan Lucci when he was at the peak of his fucking career. And you telling me that you niggas will meet me in the club, shake my hand, hey bro, keep going, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? Help a nigga get out of this bitch. But that's neither here nor there. Sometimes I be saying like it got to do with like the beef and shit, but then I be going to Detroit, I be going to Texas and shit, and I be saying like they be having the same beef though, you feel me? Like they all be having the same. So I don't think it got nothing to do with, oh, I don't want to sign him because he's might get killed or some shit, you feel me? Like I don't think it got nothing to do with that. I don't know what it is. I don't know the answer to that question because shit, I'm one of the artists who I'm thinking the same shit as you. Like, damn, why ain't nobody, you feel me, shining light? But at any time, any time a uh, big person asks like like what's 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 the Miami artist I'll be like bro it ain't nothing like you feel me it's Jacksonville Orlando artist I'm not Palm I'm, Beach I'm, yeah Palm Beach they ain't from Miami Fort Myers bro. it's like I, I be saying I think I think it's cause like Miami is like a party city you feel me so everybody would be in Miami already rich already famous so they ain't trying to look for the upcoming people you feel me they're like I'm here to party time I'm here to look at who already big type shit exactly you know I mean? but but my whole thing is this all of us could agree Miami is the biggest not I don't mean literally 
I mean the biggest city in Florida, meaning that this is where everybody wants to come when they're on vacation, right. this, this, that, da, da, da. Nigga, you go to a club in Miami, you don't hear no Miami music. You right. hear Atlanta, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, who, whoever the fuck, yeah, whoever, whoever is the popping artist is like, bro, do you niggas understand these niggas, these Kendrick Lamars, these Drakes, these, all this is in your backyard, but you niggas just don't give it that push that the shit fucking needs. You understand what I'm saying? We just need to lock in with the DJs or something, man. Bro, the DJs don't give a fuck they about no nigga. Fuck. They don't give a you, fuck. They, hey, bro, they you got some money, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to go on here and pay that tab, man. Mm -hmm. You oh, know? God, and then you got 99 Jams. You got Power 96. You got 103.5. 103.5 3 not based down here, but you understand what I'm saying? Like, we, like Miami contributes a lot to the music culture. Yeah. And yet the Miami artists cannot contribute off of it. You understand what I'm saying? But Yeah, for a while Miami always felt like it's just been blackballed type shit. It is. Yeah. And, and, and it's not blackballed because it wants to be, it's blackballed because it's forced to be. Meaning that the niggas who got the the the, the buttons to push, they won't push them. Ross could sign a nigga and say, hey, Hove, I need a feature for my artist. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like they got the power to do this. They got the power to do this. Pitbull, bro, you one of the biggest pop artists in the fucking world. Facts. Get this nigga and tell him, yo, I need that done right now. I just be on some shit like, man, at the end of the day, bro, I ain't finna wait for no handout. And yeah. I, I know that a lot of the shit do be handouts, though. Like, the way motherfuckers blow B from... I'ma sign you like you feel me like a lot of motherfuckers don't be so big before they get a deal or some shit like a lot of that should be connections and industry plants and shit like like I don't wanna put no artist names out there but I feel like it's a lot of industry plants and shit you feel me that just be like label pushes be, be what got them big type shit so yeah but I just be on some shit man like I ain't finna wait for no hand out like you feel me but but day. sometimes you need that label to push you just to get that exposure nah yeah but. <laughs> If it ain't um, if it ain't natural, like you think, if it ain't organic, I ain't finna wait for it, bro. Yeah. I understand. I don't know. Well, you 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 doing your shit with Sada Baby? Sada Baby show you love. You take you that's, on tour. That's natural. That's organic. That's why yeah. I, that's why I don't trip. You feel me? I don't trip. Like I got bro. You feel me? Bro got me. We good. Like, I'm I'm chilling, man. I'm making music. I'm having fun with this shit. You feel me? I got a little money. I ain't stressing. I ain't struggling, bro. You feel me? I'm good. Yeah. So. Let's say a label comes right now, and they offer you a deal, right? Mm. What's what what's what's the bread? What's the bread that you need that you feel like that that's that's gonna get you to sign that paper and take you to the next level? Um, I don't know, bro. I feel like anything from a mill up because like a lot of a lot of people don't know that like like if you sign for a mill, you probably really only getting five hundred. Right? You feel me? Or like you feel me? So a lot of be a lot of shit get into it, but. Yeah, like I feel like a mill, bro, because like at the end of the day, it's a lot of shit that go into a contract, how long you sign for, how many yeah. songs you drop. Well, if they own your publishing on masters and, and shit like that. And another thing is like, that money really ain't yours till you make it back. You exactly, until you recruit. recruit. So it's like, I don't know, bro, like, I feel like a mill, like make it worth it, you feel me? Like, I ain't finna sign for no two or three hundred, bro. You feel me? Like, that that's, shit gonna be gone tomorrow. That's regular shit, bro. Yeah. You feel me? That's so a crib cosmo. Yeah, so look, let me this this is another topic that I wanna touch on. That shit so crazy to me. And niggas bro, niggas hate that a nigga you niggas hate when a nigga had a own mind state and and they just don't agree with it. So I heard um Meek Mills tried to sign what's the nigga name? For twenty thousand dollars? No. What's the nigga name? Poundside. Poundside. He tried to get his man twenty. Bro, I jump out my seat. That nigga tried to get him ten or twenty thousand dollars to sign a contract. What well, is nigga finna? You finna make money off me? First off, twenty thousand dollars, nigga. First, last, and security, that shit gone. <laughs> that shit gone. Yeah. Bro, give a nigga some bread where they can move their old girl and myself out this fucking neighborhood where nobody could get close to me. This is what niggas not doing. 
You want me to sign over everything that I got to make sure that you straight so you can make bread off me? But you would give a hoe $20,000 just to fly and suck your dick. Oh Facts. But you're going to make millions of dollars off me on, on the back end. That's been at a designer store at the club. This is what I'm saying. You go buy a whole Birkin, 40000 God damn, I ain't worth forty. I'm finna wrap my ass off till I die to recoup this money that you gave me. See, but the only the only people they be signing for them type of deals is people who don't have understanding of how much money money is. No, but the nigga pound side understood that. He just got signed. He got a lot See, more money only, than that. He probably only did that because it was probably like his brother type shit. He's like, fuck it, I'm going to do it because it's my dog. No, 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 no. The whole thing is this. Nigga, just because I'm from your city, you supposed to bless me most definitely. Right. Now, let me tell you the niggas who, who do bless niggas from their city. And it's a fact that they make it. Mm. The nigga money bag, I mean, yo Gotti. Mm. Money bag yo. Black youngster. Mm -hmm. Glorilla. Who else he, who else he signed? Bookie. Bookie. Hey. Hey, Boogie. Hey, Boogie. Oh, oh, Big Boogie. Oh. Big Boogie. Wait, not just that. He just he did a deal with um Mozzie. Mozzie signed to see um CMG. This nigga cut in checks for these niggas. These niggas down here, bro. Nigga won't give a nigga a quarter. They want a nigga to work for these goddamn. I can't believe these niggas, man. Yeah, man. That's why I like. You just got to feel me where there's a will, there's a way, man. If, if a label ain't finna give you the money, you got to go get it, man. Feel me? But, but what? The, the whole point is I'm doing music so that a label will give me money and I can show my talent and I can show how much I work. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? saying Nowadays, that. they want niggas to be, look, this was happening. The scammers rapping and them niggas trash. You niggas trash. They trying to make a way though. You, but they trash. Yeah. You can't make a way and you trash. Facts, but shit, at least they trying shit. Man, fuck that. Keep scamming, nigga. Don't rap. Because you fucking it up for the rest of the niggas who trying to get it's in. It's not their fault though. It's, it's their fault, bro. You feel me? Like... They letting that shit happen, bro. You hey, let me tell y'all something. The nigga boss man D-Lo, y'all know how old he is? The nigga 41 40? years old. You lying. Bro, okay. You lying. What boss man D-Lo is 40 years. Look it up. Look it up. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Hey, bro, look young, though, huh? bro. I think that's a boom, man. I think that's a boom, man. I think that's a boom, man. Bro, look young, bro. I ain't gonna count. I was like 27. Look, look, some shit. look. How old he is? He's 25. He's got to school. Boss man, D-Lo 25? That's a lie. That's a fucking lie. Who was 25? That nigga ain't 25. Why you tripping? Boy, that nigga paid Wikipedia. Hey, see how old Fabio is. See how old Fabio form. Yeah. Why you tripping, boy? Nah, bro. bro, that nigga ain't 25, bro. That nigga look like an old man. I'm about to say, damn, 40. Fabio, 34. My bad. Boss man, D-Lo, I apologize. I apologize. Oh, what I'm saying? I thought he was 27 or some shit. Bro. Hey, 40 crazy. But, but, bro, come on, bro. Like, like, come on. How hard a nigga got to work? These niggas, hey, you know what these niggas tell you? Bro, be humble, bro. Keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding. What the fuck, nigga? You see me every day. You throwing all this goddamn money tricking with these hoes, nigga. Bless me. Help me get an opportunity to make you some money. Not make me some money. Make you some money. I'm in investment. Y'all don't believe in investing anymore. Bruh, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, bro, like, even though you right, I just don't be trying to blame the world. You feel me? No, nah, I ain't trying to blame. I ain't trying to blame. I'm, no I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that success plays a part from other people also. Facts. Cause, cause I know a lot of motherfuckers who who not in the rap industry like like they do YouTube and shit, who big and shit like. And I see they work ethic, bro. They be putting a lot of work in, bro. You feel me? And I know a lot of motherfuckers who not putting work in. You feel me? Understandable. And I be like, it take work, bro. It take work ethic to do this shit. You feel me? Like. Like to where I, where I got, to how I got where I'm at, it's a work ethic, you feel me? And a lot of motherfuckers don't understand it. Be like, damn, he lucky type shit. Like, you feel me? Like, oh, he just, it might just be his image or like how nah, he sound. Like, but nah. you was dropping. I was dropping though, bro, you feel me? Like, and I went through a lot of shit that a lot of niggas don't know, bro. That I went through a lot of life, death situation, fan, all type of shit, bro, you feel me? That I was still dropping music in the hospital, you feel me? Or however, bro, you feel me? And I was still doing that shit. So, so. 
in the midst of you doing all that, in the midst of everything that you have done, mm -hmm. getting, getting, dealing with Sada Baby, him taking you on tour, you just grinding. Like, is it any big features that you got lined up? Um. So right now, I do. One thing I could say is I think we finna um remix chosen type shit. That's the only like other than that, not really type shit. But but I got told that we trying to remix chosen. I ain't gonna say we gonna put on that type shit though. But that that's that's in the works though. Like you feel me? Cause motherfuckers saying like I think that shit finna go. So we feel me? We finna put so and so on there. You feel me? Okay. So what um projects do you got coming up? Projects. I got an album. I ain't finna say the name, what I'm finna call it, but it's about to drop soon anyways, you feel me? But I got a, I got music that I feel like this shit finna go, you feel me? That shit finna um, drop soon. I already dropped a little snippet to one of the songs that's finna be on there. And yeah, but that's my next plan, man, you feel me? Just drop the album, you feel me? Cut, drop a couple snippets. I got music videos already done, you feel me? Now I'm finna drop them shit's fire. Love them shits, man. Feel me? My, okay, so my question to you is this. This me being an older nigga watching you, right? What the fuck are you doing to have, like, just the consistency? Like, bro, you you be so, going. This this my shit. This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, I've been doing this shit since before I was doing numbers. You feel me? Like, I like music, bro. I've been, like, singing since I was a kid, bro. You feel me? So, like, this is fun to me, bro. You feel me? Like, I want to go out and do this shit. You feel me? Like, I want to go in the studio. I want to fly to Texas to shoot a music video. You feel me? If you don't like doing that shit, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it, bro. You feel me? Like, okay. But my thing is, what what is it that that gets you to get other people to do it? Like, meaning your cameraman, the like the people that just support you. Like, what is it that makes them say, "Hey, we all on board"? Bro, they just be, they gotta believe in you, bro. Yeah. So the cameraman I'm working right now, he really believe in me. You feel me? And he from Texas, bro. He from a whole new state, like. Like the same way I found Saw the Baby say posting through Say Cheese is the same way he found me from another song. He seen me post on Say Cheese like, bro, I fuck with this jit, you feel me? And one of the um, artists who he was trying to, um, I guess like sign or whatever, he was he just a cameraman, he ain't no label or nothing. But he was like working with him, managing him type shit. He fucked it with me, the artist, you feel me? So that's how, uh, this Quinn and the Fan though, I don't know if you know who Quinn and the Fan is, but nah. he's a Texas artist who went viral like a couple years ago type shit, he's still lit right now. But his homeboy, uh, his name Rome, shout out Rome and the Fan, um, he, he fucked it with me. He was the first one to really reach out to me, ask for my number, call me like, yo man, this song, I, it was uh, Talk to God, I don't know if you know the song, but it was like, oh, Talk to God, man, this shit's so hard, da 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 I'm finna have my cameraman fly us out and we finna shoot a video, da da da. The cameraman um, fucked it with me, so, you just believe in me, bro. You got to find people who believe in you, bro. Yeah, you just me? rock with them. Just rock with them. If it's meant, it's meant. The stars got a line type shit, you feel me? Like, you got to rock with people who really want to do this shit. You can't force nobody in your camp. Yeah, like, to be. You got to be yeah. a cameraman, bro. Like, if they don't want to do it, they ain't going to do it, bro. Yeah. You feel me? So, if you, right now, if you could choose any artist in the game to do a song with, and you could do it, video, song, who would it be? You say, say that one more time? Any artist right now that you could pick or choose to do a song with in a video, like right now, any artist. It could be Big. Drake. Yeah, it could be anybody. Kodak, man. What's up, man? <laughs> you do Kodak right now? Yeah, yeah, man. Over anybody? Yeah, man. That's crazy. Mm. You a fan of Kodak? I'm a fan of Kodak. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a fan of Kodak. Yeah. That's the play. I'm a fan. So, so... When when would you say you started rapping? Um, it must have been like sophomore year of high school, maybe fr like, maybe freshman. Nah, we were like sixteen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah, freshman, freshman. Year. Like freshman year of high school, bro. It, it like it was really my homeboy. It was just like rapped on some shit. I'm like, man, I'm gonna do this shit too, cause I'm I already was like. I like music, like I'm the type of nigga who will sing around the crib type shit. Yeah, just vibing. So like, I'm like, oh, let me try this shit, man. And I remember showing my um, classmates that shit, my homeboys and shit. Like, oh, look, listen, bro, I just recorded this shit on my iPhone. Let me know what you think about yeah. it. Yeah. And one of them dudes I still fuck with to this day is named Byron. 
Like he was, he went to high school with me type shit. Like he was one of the dudes I showed my music. Like when I record that shit on my iPhone, like he know me now. So it just be crazy. It's like damn, yeah. that shit really made. That shit really did something. Like yeah, that shit crazy. So like those people motivated you to just keep going when they when that time did. Yeah, come? I was I was looking for motivation at that time, but it was just fun, bro. I wasn't really looking for motivation to keep going or nothing. Like I just liked to doing it. That's yeah. what made me start doing that. Ain't nobody tell me to do it. You feel me? I just wanted to do it. So, so you make it where you want to be. You you the artist that at the top of your peak. You um selling out shows. You doing everything that you are supposed to do. Mm. Now fuck the music. What's your goal for you and the people around you? Where are you trying to get to? You saying like if I already made it where I want to be? I'm you already there. Sure. You got the bread. You got everything. What, what? What? What's the goal for your friends, your family? Like what? What are you trying to do? Shit. Just like any other business, bro. Just keep it going. I don't know. Just keep, keep it going. going. Make sure everybody good. You feel me? Make sure everybody got something they doing every day. You know yeah. What I'm Make sure everybody working, getting paid. You feel me? Is it Being happy, man? Yeah. You should most definitely happiness, man. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it a cause that you feel like you absolutely have to give back to, or is it a place that you feel like you need to give back to? Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of people I gotta give back to, man. Especially my old girl. You feel me? Everybody who I felt like endured a lot of bullshit that I put them through. You feel me? That I feel like I need to give back to, bro. You feel me? And they ain't necessarily asking for it. You feel me? But yeah, I'm but you, you yeah, you gonna handle business. So right now, I'm a, it's gonna be two different categories. Your top five rappers of all time. Mm. Mm -hmm. I need to know. Top five rappers of all time. That's hard, man. That's a hard question, man. Cause I don't know, like especially like nowadays. I don't really listen to too many. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. It's a lot of artists that I don't like right now. You feel me? Top five rappers of all time, definitely. Um, I'm not gonna say him in order, but I fuck with Lil Wayne. He's one of the hardest rappers. Kodak, I'm gonna give it to him. Uh, Young Boy, obviously, I'm gonna give that to him. Eminem, he was an uh, inspiration when I was a jit. Yeah. When he was, you feel me? Uh, what's that? Uh, Bruno Mars, that's a good one. Bruno Mars, bro, he, he he really made that melodic side of me, bro. I used that's to sing crazy. I swear to God, nah, nah, Bruno Mars is hard as fuck, though, bro. Bruno Mars is hard as fuck, bro. I, 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 I know Bruno Mars is hard, but I never would think that somebody would put him in his top five. I catch a grenade for you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, hard as fuck. Oh, Adele? I fuck with Adele, too. Yeah, Adele hard. Tough. Adele hard. I already Adele listen hard. to Adele. Hell yeah. I'm okay, so, you from Miami. You gotta give me your top five Miami artists, bro. Oh man, dog, that's just so hard. Cause like not really that many, man. You feel me? You get, get just. It ain't gotta be in no specific order. Just give them to me. So it's gonna be Vino for show, me. Dog, I can't really like like. It ain't no Miami like from now. I'm saying. Like, no, 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 no. You can't just do from now. I'm talking. So you have you listened to Trick growing up or not? Not really, bro. Not 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 too much. Yeah, I listened to like a couple of. His yeah, but you ain't really but like that. Into his okay. First albums or nothing. Yeah. Like that. No. Nope. I'll, play, I'll play that shit around. Me. Yeah. yeah. No. Like, like C Base and places. Yeah. No Pitbull. Oh, no nothing. Show. Yeah. Pitbull. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, Pitbull. Yeah, for sure. Pitbull. But yeah, that's yeah. Hell yeah. Cause that three oh five till I die, y'all niggas sleep. What? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't think about Pitbull, but that's just like. His, like when you expand it, like Pitbull in Miami was a big thing. Yeah, yeah, Every yeah. Family party, went yeah. Pitbull and shit, man. I actually went to one of his music videos. Pitbull, huh? Me, you, <laughs> me, you and Pitbull, dog. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you. He sure. don't gotta throw me in there nah, if you don't know. Nah, for real, nah, G shit. Like Bro. you, you a part of this shit for sure, definitely. I did a lot of shit, definitely. Nigga sleep on me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, me, bro. Album for album. I put a lot of niggas in the garbage can. I want you niggas to know. Definitely. And anytime you niggas want to motherfucking sit next to me and do it, we I'm here. You know. You and Vino's features crazy. Yeah, yeah. The the features the features most definitely. We 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 do our shit. But facts, dog. Bro, you know what I really think you need. But I don't think I don't. I ain't, I'm not gonna say what you need. I think you should try hmm. features, bro. 
Facts. Bro, like, you need the iceberg. Bro, you know what would be the hardest shit in the world? You and Major Nine, boy. Facts. I am boy. Boy, dog. Major Nine is one of the greatest artists from Miami ever. I will say that on tape. Major Nine is raw as fuck. Not, Major Nine is hard, you feel me? And just because I ain't missing them, don't mean I just ain't really. In, yeah, you ain't yeah. in tune to them. Right. But, bro, these these features, something that you might want to do. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. Major Nine, the thing, the thing Smith. Is, I just don't like reaching out to somebody. And they don't respond. And either they don't respond, like it don't be genuine type shit. Like I like meeting a person or like, you feel me? I, oh, I go to this show, I meet them type shit. Like, oh, what's up, bro? Yeah. I, mean, I don't like just reaching out because I feel like they ain't gonna look at me. They gonna look at me like a like a like a groupie ass, like a groupie, like like a groupie or, shit, or yeah. like a uh, some money type shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. But they, you know what's crazy? That's the culture of Miami, because artists from. Atlanta and all that shit when they see a nigga popping and this nigga want a feature they most definitely do that feature for free you understand so that's something that I feel like Miami culture needs to change Fact. like stop looking at us like a like we just a, a quick payout when we could really get each other to the next level Facts. you understand that's why I be stressing a lot of motherfuckers man get money bro cuz I ain't gonna lie it's, it's some artists that will like charge you you feel me but if you really got motion like if you like a person like me or like you got numbers or your music just good though they're gonna see it afterwards you get the future type shit and be like, oh this he actually hard he actually doing numbers exactly I'm gonna do the next one for free or something exactly like that, exactly me? well guess what i appreciate you you gave me a feature yeah you know and it's dropping next week exactly. and it's called get the money get the money on yeah so um y'all boys be tuned and the, the podcast is gonna drop next week too so y'all stay tuned Motherfucking fat So We rocking out So Anything else That you feel like The people should know That they don't know About you bro Um It's a lot of shit bro You feel me I don't know it's Give me three shit. things that, 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 that they need to know About you Three things That they need to know About me man Just Ain't a lot bro Just one thing Just know I went through A lot bro A lot of motherfuckers don't. It's a lot of shit I can't just name everything You feel me But it's a lot of shit I went through That a lot of motherfuckers Don't know You feel me and that shit, um, that shit built a lot of character in me, bro. It made me look at life a different way, type shit, bro. You feel me? Especially with life or death, you feel me? Shit like that. It's shit showed me that, you feel me? Sometimes when you go through some music, ain't, ain't gonna be your main priority, you feel me? But if you still do it, that just show you how determined you is to do that shit. Because like you facing some shit like death, and you still doing that shit, that's how you know you really, you feel me? motivated type shit or you really believe in that shit you feel me so that's why i'm trying to show people is like i'm really motivated you feel me because i went through a lot of shit that y'all don't know about you feel me i'm still doing this shit bro but i love to do it so it's not like you feel me i'm forced to do it or nothing like that so another question hmm. you know the the uh, white way kosher yeah <laughs> <laughs> You look like him. <laughs> nah, stop playing. Man. Bro. <laughs> I mean, a nigga just had a hoodie on with the little hat. And he just be rapping. I'm like, damn. Coach is doing this shit, though. Now, you know what's so crazy, though? I had a show one time, bro. When I dropped that LLPB video around that same time, I had a show. It was on New Year's, bro. And he was one of the artists that was performing. He was just like me. Maybe even less, bro. You feel me? Yeah. He didn't have no views, nothing, bro. I went out. I seen him on stage and shit. I'm just looking. I'm like, damn. And homeboy that passed away was there too. You feel me? See, I didn't even know that. But um, was, I remember seeing him. I'm like, bro, he look different. You feel me? Like he got the two dress thick and So you don't think that's the person that you should link up with? Nah, def, most definitely, bro. But at the same time, I just don't like reaching out to motherfuckers. So I feel like it ain't. I don't know. That's just me. Like I feel like it's not may, may not be a good thing. But I don't know. I just, bro. I think you should start reaching out. You got a manager? Yeah, yeah, like I said, uh, Saddle Baby Manager. Yeah, That's bro, good. you need to, you need to. Oh, yeah, one, one. Sorry, I don't you, 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 bro, you probably just need to start reaching out to niggas to get to that next level, but you for sure doing numbers. Fact. Yeah, one thing I definitely feel like I need to work on is my networking side of things, bro. Like, you feel me? Just like any other business, you got to network. I feel like I ain't the best networker, but I'm getting better at it, you feel me? Yeah, most definitely. So... Uh, You gotta, I mean, you doing your shit. What you think about the Island Boys? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs>
Man. I just want to know. Because them niggas weird as fuck. I don't even know they songs. Dog, I don't even want to, you know what I'm saying? Like... No, I don't like them niggas now. Okay, but do you but do you think they just doing shit just to like try to yeah. stay popping? Look, they are purely internet um trolls. Like they everything they do is for the internet, you feel me? They just you know like I'm saying, like I'm six six nine shit, like you feel me? With the tattoos and everything, like they just purely internet. Like nothing they do is authentic. You know what I'm saying? Like Everything they do is purely for views, bro. It's not really like straight shit. Yeah, yeah. they not they not really up there, and they not really dropping no music either. Thanks. They music yeah. trash. Yeah, <laughs> they music trash. I ain't gotta even say it, man. You know what I'm saying? I only like to talk about that shit, man, because I'm say it's just so goofy. Well, well, like I said, this is episode three of the podcast, man. Ninety four fat so. Yes, sir. And we rocking. We looking forward to the next episode. We looking forward to the new work from Fat So. We looking forward to the new work from the podcast, Hard Body Podcast, man. Shout out to everybody who's supporting us. If you not subscribe, please subscribe. If you not fucking with Fat So or you don't know who he is, lock in. One of the big, the next biggest artists coming out of Miami. And we rocking, y'all. Appreciate y'all for watching. Mob Life Hard Body Podcast. Most